What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute glutes and abs builder workout. We're gonna be rocking at a moderate tempo today in order to target those glutes and ab muscles in a way that builds them in terms of size or hypertrophy and also in terms of strength. So we've got four big supersets, three exercises each. I want you to grab your dumbbells that challenge you in the glute bridge weight. You can also grab a kettlebell if you have them. And then for your core, I do want you to put some weight on your body for your core resistance today. So 10, 15 pounds, depending on what your strength level is for things like weighted sit-ups. All right, so grab your water and your sweat towel and those things if you have them and let's crush it. All right, let's go heels to glutes. Welcome to your workout, so excited to have you here. We got 30 minutes together. We're gonna crush some posterior lower body and then we're gonna hit the core in a way that is a build for size, strength type of workout, okay? So hands on your hips, let's send them back. Making sure today that we focus on the main movements that help build your ab muscles so that when you wanna start kind of showing them through, they're there for you, they're strong, they're ready. Same thing with the glutes. Good job, sit. I'm gonna have you focus on a 202 tempo today. So two seconds down, two seconds up. And then for anything like a hinge or a glute bridge, it's two seconds lengthen, two seconds contract. All right, good. Hands on your hips, gentle push forward. Job over top. Good job. We'll get started in about 40 seconds with a lower body circuit. Up first, three rounds, three exercises. Cross your arms. job. All right, we're going to start with a deadlift, sumo deadlift and squat. So we're going to hinge here, stand, sit. Okay, so back and forth and then up and down. Then lateral lunges, then kettlebell swings. Let's go with the first one, squat to deadlift. Two, one, come on. Hinge and sit. Everything upper body is nice and strong, just holding everything tight for you. Two, one, rest. Lateral lunges, you can use one dumbbell or two. Okay, which is step out, middle, step out, middle. Ready? Two, let's go. And I'm trying to touch down on the mat right inside my heel. Optional, of course but it helps me kind of send my hips back, stretching my glute a little bit. Two, good job, all right. Dumbbell or kettlebell swings, okay? Just think of a powerful RDL. Powerful hinge, so we're here, squeeze. Okay, two, one, let's go. Good job, 12. And we go back to the top. If you can go any heavier, we're not moving super fast in our reps. So let's go up if you can. Let's go. So one, two, one, two. Sit, two, stand, two. There we go.
There we go. A little bit of sagittal plane work and then some hip extension. Breathe. Lateral lunges. All right, let's start up at the front of your mat. Step back, diagonal with your heel. Two, one. Good work. I feel like this just helps us connect a little bit better with that back hip stretch. Last one, breathe. All right, let's go swings. Might have noticed I did a couple single arm swings. You can do single arm, double arm, regardless. Chest and hips, stay straight. Ready, let's go. Good job, keep breathing for eight. Breathe. Last round of all three. Are you ready? Squat to deadlift, make it a challenge. Four. Let's go. Breathing deep. Two, and rest. All right, lateral lunges. Trust yourself to sit back into that lateral heel. Four, exhale, let's go. Seven, four, and breathe. Last round of swings here. If you need to take three swings and pause, that's okay, okay? We're working on that. We're working on building the endurance of this movement. Lots of power. Two, one. Also, make sure you're not just sitting and standing and flipping up. Okay, right back through the quads, right out in front of your chest. Ten. Two. Thirty seconds rest. And we're headed down to the floor. Come on, let's go. We got dumbbell sit-ups, straight arm sit-ups, and then a crunched leg raise. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 10 and a 15 pound dumbbell, starting with my 10. Okay, sit-ups, I want the dumbbell touching chest. Okay, I always like to put my dumbbell here in my hands and hold it here. Let's go. Seven. And breathe. Now take that same weight, push it up over your chest, and as you sit up, you're pointing it diagonal up, and your head goes through your arms. 
okay? The advanced option of this is just tap the lower back and up. Let's go. So it would look like this. Touch, up. Nine. Two, and breathe. Last one, give me a little crunch here. Okay, leg raises, you can go two or one. All right, crunch up, stay crunched, and lower the leg, let's go. Good, don't push your chin to the sky, just think shoulder blades off the ground. Good job. Five. Breathe. All right. Same three. Two more rounds. How you doing? Pretty good? All right, come on, let's keep this up. Go up in weight or resistance if you can. Exhale, let's go. And breathe. Same three exercises. So now we just go overhead. Okay. The point here is just to keep the resistance right above your chest. Four. Let's go. Thirteen. Four. Breathe. Crunched up, leg drops. And also, this is really helpful for your leg drops, leg raises, to have your abs turned on with this crunch, okay? Let's go. Nine. Breathe. Good work. We got one last round. If you can go heavier, make this more challenging for yourself, let's go. You gotta do it. All right. Weight against the chest. Two, one. Nice work. Fifteen. Last one, two, one. Perfect. Straight arm, sitting up right through your hands. Doing great. Remember, this is a builder workout, so embrace that resistance. Let's go. Eight. 
two. Breathe. Good work. On this crunched up leg drop, you can also leave it body weight, but just have your abs turned on to get your shoulder blades up. Five. Let's go. Seven. Don't stop, don't stop. And breathe for 30 seconds. Another circuit done. So we've got a lower body done and a core done. We're just gonna repeat that. So we go back into a lower body glute bridge heavy circuit. We've got a glute bridge, staggered glute bridge left leg, staggered glute bridge right leg. So grab your heavy weights. We're staying down in the bridge. All right, let's go. Both feet on the ground. Here we go. Remember, one, two, one, two. Ten. And breathe. Now, keep your feet right where they are. Move your right leg one shoe length forward. Boom. Okay, pull your left leg in towards the middle of your body just a little bit more. Now we push off our left, predominantly left leg. Use your other leg to balance. Let's go. If you feel like, oh, I can't get as high this way, it's okay. Totally fine. Just want to feel that left side really working. And breathe. Good job. Now the same thing on the other side. So bring your right leg back. Left leg shifts forward. Left leg just uses uh, the balance side. Ready? Come on, right leg. Two, one, up. Two more rounds of that. So, if that weight was not challenging to you, it's your job, your responsibility to you to go up now. Okay? Both legs. Three, two, exhale, let's go. Nine. Breathe. Good job. Just scoot the right foot away. You can move your left leg in a little more towards the middle of your body if you want. All right, keep those hips level. Three. Left leg bridge and we're up. Good job, feel the squeeze at the top. Before you lower, squeeze tight like you're trying to get hamstring and glute to touch. There you go. Two, breathe. All right, bring the other leg back. Extend that one just a little bit. You're doing great. 
Let's finish out round two right here. Three, two, one. Good job. Here we go, I'm watching you. I'm checking your form right now. Don't let that opposite side hip with a straighter or a longer extended leg drop down. I know it's not pushing as much, but keep both glutes working to squeeze the hips up. There you go. Breathe, all right. One last round of all three. This is gonna wrap up our glute work, okay? So let's get a little spicy here. Five, four. Come on, big exhale, heels down, two, one. Up, two, down, two. Come on, up, down, up, down. Squeeze harder, come on, at the top. Connect, 14, 13. Good, lift it up and hold, six, five. Squeeze tighter, squeeze tighter, heels down. Rest, good job. All right. One round on each leg, let's go. You're doing fantastic. Big exhale. Two, one, up. There we go, last 10 seconds. We're gonna hold it at the top. So you got five, four, and then we'll hold in three, two, lift it up, hold. Dig that heel into the floor as hard as you possibly can. Good job. Harder, three, two, one, down. <sighs> all right, last 30 of glute work. Come on, you gotta get all of this. Get everything out of this workout you can. Normal range of motion. Inhale, exhale, lift. Seven. All right, last one. Go up and hold now. Dig the heel, down, down, down. Push harder. Push the heel harder, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Beautiful job. Grab water. We're actually gonna stay down on the ground for the next set of core. Single side as well, so a little bit of rotation and a little bit of sit up action with lower abs on our third exercise. All right, left arm sit up and pause. Dumbbells in my left arm, okay? I sit up, turn, pause. Ready, let's go. Good, so it's just a little torso twist at the top, stabilization here if you need it, or you can just kind of hold at that pause. Resistance stays right over my chest. Two, breathe. Good job. Other arm. We'll swing around this way for you. Same exact movement. Ready, sit up, turn to the right. Two, let's go. Breathe. Now put that dumbbell down at the end of your mat. Okay, hands are under your tailbone. You're gonna go down, over, down, over. Okay, if you need a modification, start up top. Just drop one leg to each side. Let's go. Breathe. 
breathe. <sighs> Same thing. Two more rounds. You gotta go heavier if you are able. I'm gonna use my 40. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna use my 20. Wonder how many people are like, she is losing it. Let's go. Sometimes in the end of the workout, you do. But I will always challenge you to push yourself past what you think you are capable of. As long as it's safe, feeling good, go for it. A lot of times you will surprise yourself. One more, three. Breathe. Make sure your dumbbell isn't swinging back and forth. I don't want it to help you sit up. I want you to fight against it to sit up. Three. Let's go. Meaning, if you're doing this and taking just a little back swing and then riding that momentum to get you up, it's helping you a little bit more than I would like. Unless you need that help, fight against it. Two. Breathe. All right, put it down. Six, five. And let's go up. One more round of each one. If there's any doubt in your mind that you could potentially go heavier, let's go. I'll go with you. Let's go. Nine. Two, one, breathe. Same thing, other side. Five. Let's go. One more, four. Breathe. Put it down. Last 30. Right here. Make it your own. Let's work those lower abs. Five. Let's go. And you have made it to your cool down. <sighs> Big deep breath in and out. Let's flip it over, hands and knees. Great work today. That type of workout, you're going at that moderate tempo with a good challenging resistance, that's how we build. Okay, so if you're looking to build some muscle, that is the tempo and those are the challenging weights that you have to get comfortable with. 
Good, look up. Progressive overload. Lift your hips up, lock it back until your heels are on the ground. Progressive overload is your best friend when it comes to building muscle. And a lot of people think, if I just lose body fat, I will reveal ab definition. But in terms of core training, yes, connecting with your core and your deep core is important, but to build those muscles, you have to operate just like every other muscle, like your biceps or your legs. You have to really put a challenging resistance on them, okay? And in the rectus abdominis muscles, or what we think of as the six-pack muscles, not everyone wants to have a six-pack, and that's okay. You don't have to, but if you're in that pursuit, remember, those muscles need challenged as well to grow, so that when you do get the body fat off of the top of them, they will show through, and they will also show through for you at a little bit higher body fat percentage, regardless of when you build them in your journey, okay? All I'm saying is don't just go for body weight burn for your core if you wanna see muscle there, and strength in general, okay? So, very proud of you today. Keep stretching, keep breathing, make sure your nutrition over the weekend and the evenings is great. Hydration is also crucial in building any type of muscle so we can get the nutrients to where they need to go to repair for our next workout. Make sure you comment below that you crushed this workout with me. Give the video a thumbs up and check to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you back here for our next workout together. Great job. <laughs>